Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear. Um, today is this going to be an uh, underwater video of the Forefire TD26. Uh, basically, um, I filmed this, and uh, right now I'm showing you the beach. Um, and again, this is the beach, but this is with my uh, action camera. It's not even mine, I had to borrow it. Um, basically, it's not a GoPro, so the video doesn't look the best quality. You can see the light adjustment on both cameras is a bit different. The first one was filmed uh, with my phone as well as I usually do for my reviews. And uh, this is filmed with the action camera. Um, you can see it's pretty uh, throwy light. It's more throwy than, uh, than, I don't know, it's not, wouldn't really say, it's kind of like a C8 throw, pretty, pretty much. But it is more throwy than a flutter, obviously. Alright, so basically I go underwater, uh, nothing too extreme. Um, I waited until night. In hindsight, from looking at this dodgy ass video, I probably should have just gone like a couple of, maybe like an hour earlier, where it was semi dark but not too dark. Um, I don't get too deep because obviously it's pitch black um, and I'm the only person at the beach. Uh, I had a mate there, but like, in, if anything happened, yeah, like, good luck to me. Um, if someone would have been in the water, it would have been sweet, but yeah, alright, uh, you can see my legs there, I don't know what the hell is going on there, um, I don't know where to mount this camera, or like, how to use it, so basically, yeah, it's pretty, like, fidgety, so just, um, have a scroll through the video, and, uh, if you like any part, sweet, uh, if you enjoy the video, guys, uh, like, and share, maybe share one of my better videos, and, uh, subscribe, if you feel like it. Um, I'll run through some specs. It's a Forefire TD26. It was given to me by review for, by uh, Forefire. Um, it's basically a thousand lumens. Um, most of the time here, I have it on the thousand lumens settings. It comes in its own uh, package, so you get the charger, battery, lanyard, uh, all of which I was using right now. Well, I wasn't really using the charger right now, obviously. Look, you can actually even see a fish like somewhere around here. Look at that. How cool is that? Actually, one funny part that I had to cut out was I go, where's all the fish? And like I literally swam into a friggin' fish. <sighs> um, so it's a thousand lumens. Uh, IPX8, 100 meters waterproof. I probably got it to like seven meters at the highest point. Nothing like too spectacular. Uh, it has five modes, so it actually has a hidden strobe, uh, which I didn't put on my video, but it does. Uh, it starts at low mode, 30 lumens, medium mode, 200 lumens, high mode, 500 lumens, and turbo mode, 1000 lumens. Uh, hidden strobe is 1000 lumens. Uh, the lanyard is really, really well built, like, for this. Now I understand, like, why they give you such a massive lanyard. Um, it's kind of like, so you can fit it around your gloves and around your wetsuit. And also, when you're underwater, you know how you kind of want a bit of leverage with the torch. Um, yeah, I really wish, like... I could have filmed this a bit straight up because it's a bit too jiggly, but yeah. A uh, very well built light. Um, I can say it's fairly, not fairly, it is very waterproof, obviously, to 100 meters. Uh, Four Fire uh, does test it themselves. Um, it's pretty much completely sealed from the outside. So um, it's got like a magnetic switch and whatnot. It's got two massive ass um, O rings and really thick cut threads um, on the um, light. Uh, and very very thick front glass uh, yeah so um, I don't know I would like to cue some music here but last time I put music on uh, YouTube it kind of got taken off my video got taken off so I don't know what I was supposed to do maybe I should like mix up some music um, the lights made out of durable aircraft grade aluminium uh, as I've already said the modes high medium low turbo hidden strobe uh, it can run on an 18650 and they give you the adapter but the supply 26650 that comes in the package is 5,000 milliamps anyway, so that's more than enough. Um, I should mention it's a very neutral tint, so you can see when I'm being an idiot and shining it on the highest mode straight up. Because I was wearing um, tinted goggles. Yeah, that's another stupid move. Um, I brought like, well, I brought I already had like tinted uh, swimming glasses and stuff, so yeah, I uh, don't think that that helped me that much. Um, 
so high efficiency reflection lens yeah I think I've gone through all the specs now now we need like some elevated music that's what I think um I have like I don't know what that white stuff is uh, sounds a bit sus right but I don't know if it was attracted to the light or what not but yeah maybe um, I'll do this again and put it up again but this video already took like so long like at least you guys can see that it can go underwater without breaking uh, one thing when you take it out of the water because the way that the switch sits uh, just make sure that there's no water left inside there how many times did I just say water eh? it's kind of like uh, anything that I could do stupid in this video I've done like shining the light directly on sand from a very close distance that gets a that gets a thumbs up there had to come up here for a breath I guess um, at the very end of the video uh, you should be able to see me put the light on the floor and then I swim away from the light and the light reflects off the water uh, that looks cool so the, no, no light leaves the water surface it just bounces back down to the bottom that part looks really really cool uh, from using this light underwater I had it going for about 40 minutes I can see it is specifically made for a diving light uh, it is a really good diving light uh, that being said I don't own any other diving lights but um yeah it, it done well like kind of everything makes sense to me now after using it underwater I feel like to do my review the writing part I really had to use it underwater just to get a good feel for it because I've never used a diving light so I didn't know what to look for but uh, after doing this part yeah it, it kind of makes sense I might uh, leave you guys to it, you've probably heard enough of my voice and uh, I'll cue some music somehow and I'll put it in here and I'll try and put some music over my friggin voice too. Alright guys, um, yeah, just I uh, hope you enjoy the video, sorry about the shakiness and uh, like and subscribe if you want to, I can't make ya, um, and I uh, hope to see you guys watching my videos again and thanks. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me, come for me, this is the sit underground. Come for me, come for me, this is the ganja song. Come for me.